Hey, what's going on? My name is Bryce. I've been working behind the scenes at Evolve AI, working on the UI and UX, the user interface, and overall improve the experience of powerlifters and athletes around the world who are using the app. Um, there's been a few things that we've been working on lately. One is just a reskin, just a visual refresh of what the app looks like in different ways, and um, just optimizing a few of the ways that you get around the app, uh, where you land, how you launch into workouts, what the settings look like. We've added warm-ups so that athletes can not only see what they're supposed to do in their warm-up up to a specific exercise, um, but also see the bar load and see how the bar load is written out so that you know what plates uh, <laughs> you need to load for a specific warm-up. A feature that we're working on right now that's a relatively large feature is analytics. So part of training is the actual doing of the training, but in order to be a better athlete, you need to understand your training. And to understand your training, you need to know what's going on. So we've added advanced analytics, not only on every individual exercise that you do, but on the program as a whole, understanding your program on the level of training volume, training intensity, your distribution of lifts, how much percentage of your program comes from squat related exercises and bench related exercises. How's your stress? How's your sleep? How's your mood? How do these things tie in with each other all based on your own individual feedback and how you've been using the app. When it comes to individual exercises, we can dive even further looking at stress index, volume and intensity, um, your PRs and your achievements and your rep PRs going back to the beginning of your time uh, using the app. The hope is ultimately that we're able to keep all of your training, your nutrition, your sports psychology, anything related to your training journey in one place so that we can refer back to that data, integrate different pieces of data in with each other and feed this into the AI to ultimately create better training for you. The app starts off with a best case recommendation for your training and continues to advance um, alongside you allowing you to make decisions as well. The app makes decisions for you in some cases. That's a big piece that I think will make the training experience a little bit smoother um, and a little bit more intuitive. Ultimately, the goal is to make the tracking experience for your training and have things feel as intuitive as possible as you're kind of going through the process. From there, I think we'll launch into uh, nutrition and making nutrition feel as smooth as possible as well. And then integrating nutrition in with the training side and then after nutrition, I believe we're launching into a full section on awards and achievements. It's one thing to do your training. It's another thing to be celebrated for your training after you hit certain milestones, certain amount of time using the app, essentially adding a little bit of like a gamification kind of thing. What I wanna call Easter eggs that I hope you guys find along the way of your training process. So we'll be tracking achievements as well. We have kind of two distinct categories, awards and achievements. Awards are these more kind of broad, abstract things, and achievements are more based on the numbers of what you've actually done on a specific exercise. So an achievement might be crossing a 315 pound deadlift for the first time, or squatting 300 pounds for the first time, or something like that. And uh, awards are things more like, you have logged poor sleep for five days in a row and you get an award for that with a specific name. So they can be good, they can be bad. I hope you guys find some of those Easter eggs. I tried to make them funny and I think I'm really happy with what we've put together. So from there, I believe we'll try to launch some social sharing features as well so that you can export a workout and share it on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or Tumblr or whatever app you end up using. Because part of training is training and part of training is sharing our training as well. So we want people to be able to export their day, their week, their achievements, things like that, so they can share them with their friends. That's a brief overlook of some of the stuff that we're working on. Ultimately, the goal is to make the training experience better, to integrate various parts of the app, and to make it all feel a little bit more fluid and a little bit more intuitive. If you're liking this, if you're appreciating it, tell your friends about Evolve because the more people that sign up, the more we're able to bring new and exciting features uh, to the app. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes peek and uh, catch you guys in the next one.